geospatial tools are being applied to almost every aspect of life that you can imagine. You know, healthcare, agriculture, international affairs. We're at the center of a very important emerging initiative around what will it take to position the St. Louis region as a destination for, for geospatial. This conference is a way of kind of putting a stake in the ground and saying that this is a big deal and we're going after this in a very significant way. Geospatial science and technology is a very interdisciplinary field. Public health to engineering, you know, sociology to biology. Autonomy in vehicles and airplanes to mapping functions on our phones. Being able to trace source of diseases, relief efforts, all of it's becoming a lot more ubiquitous and available and out there for people to make better decisions for everything. President Postello and his senior staff have been able to garner some great speakers, renowned individuals, both from Google within the Defense Department and uh, uh, within the NGA. I hope that through my participation on the panel, I share a little bit of insights on what we do at NGA in the analysis realm, and uh, just to sort of take in the, the whole growth of the geospatial industry that's happening around here. Our whole leadership team is here from Defense Autonomous Systems. If you don't know where you're going, you're lost. So this is a great anchor to be able to align a community around a mission. Arch to Park is part of a community effort to really take the opportunity presented by the NGA's almost $2 billion investment in the heart of St. Louis and build upon that to attract more investment and more jobs in the growing geospatial industry. We have critical public sector actors like the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, but we're also home to premier universities that are doing the cutting edge research that is critical to stay competitive in this sector. NGA's had a long-standing relationship with St. Louis University. They approached us about the possibility of a much broader partnership. We're bringing faculty who have expertise on these issues and topics from across the whole university, using geospatial tools and technologies to look at things like understanding health disparities and poverty in the St. Louis region. We have faculty working on disease mapping, understanding food, water, and human security from regional to global scales. St. Louis University has shown tremendous leadership to create a single focal point and align research, student opportunities, and other functions within the university so the outside world can collaborate with SLU it is truly pioneering. It's a terrific partnership and opportunity for us to send our current workforce to build their skills and their knowledge base in these areas as well as to hire our future workforce. Many of the stakeholders have come together now to work to try and strengthen and build an ecosystem that is supportive of the NGA. Involve them in our innovation community, Cortex and T-Rex. The Boeing Company is right here in St. Louis with our headquarters of Horizon X. These partnerships between a company like Boeing, SLU, and then NGA just make a whole lot of sense. Government can't do it alone, academia can't do it alone, and industry can't do it alone. So a conference like this is about taking the best of the partnership and making more out of it. It's creating an energy that will help propel St. Louis forward. I think one of the speakers spoke this morning about St. Louis being the center of the universe. For geospatial, we want to be that. I hope that those sitting in this chair and in this conference 20 years from now see that we made the best decisions we could so that St. Louis remains a global city and is an epicenter of innovation. A cluster of universities that are working together, industry, government leaders, with the NGA at the center of it. This is a huge opportunity, not just for us, for St. Louis region. The conference like this, discussing the future of geospatial and future of St. Louis, that's huge for this region, for St. Louis University and research and geospatial science and technology.